Hello and welcome to our show tonight. I'm Malia Allen, your host in tonight's Realty Masters of Florida show. I'm here with my friend Pam Keene, who's the owner and a broker and realtor and founder of Realty Masters of Pensacola. Tell me, Pam, thanks for coming tonight. And we've done several shows now. I mean, I think that you're like a, a pro here. Not quite, but. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about so many things, Pam, and one of your main emphasis is, um, or emphases is the uh, investment properties and property management. We've talked in depth about that. How many rental properties do you manage right now? Uh, we manage over 650 right now. That's a lot of properties. Percentage-wise in Pensacola, about what's that percent? Do you know? Um, we... For 2010, we have about, uh, I think it's like 9% of the market share. That's a lot of um, rental properties that you have. Now, you also are a normal realtor where you list homes and you sell homes. Right? I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Love to do that. Now, one of your one of uh, your main goals is to really provide your clients with a good positive cash flow as a result of their investment properties, no matter how they come in and how they decide to uh, choose to utilize your services. Tell me a little bit about that and how you started in doing that. Well, I started buying properties myself back in the 80s mm -hmm. and, um, you know, have owned numerous properties over the year, both multifamily and single family. And I try to treat other people's properties as I treat my own. And we, we try to have a good list of vendors that are available that do work for reasonable rates. And we offer those services for our owners. And we try to keep on top of the fees and, and keep them as much cash flow as possible and raise rents as we can. You know, when I go to your website, which, by the way, is uh, PensacolaRealtyMasters.com. I want to emphasize that because you need to tag that Pensacola at the beginning. If you go on that website, you're going to find that you have, your clients are so pleased with your management services. And that really says a lot about you and Nicole, your daughter, who's also a realtor there. Now, you have a pretty large office. How many realtors do you have there on staff? Um, we have about 12 realtors. Um, some of them are part-time agents, mm -hmm. but we have four realtors that are full-time property managers. And we also have... Um, you know, various, um, real, Nicole's a realtor, she's the marketing specialist. Right. Um, my other daughter is also a realtor. And so we have quite a variety of people. We have um, only, the only person that's not really a realtor is our receptionist. Everyone else Everyone has their else real estate is. license, yes. So we're now, there to serve you. You know, one of the things is, and I love it when Nicole comes on the show because she's got so much great information too. She was on our first show that we did uh, several months back. But Nicole actually markets these properties online and, and takes photos yes, of them. She and does. she's really good at that. She has a marketing degree from UWF mm -hmm. and she's pretty obsessive compulsive about her <laughs> photography. Mm -hmm. um, we use a really good expensive camera and um, she takes a lot of time and patience to take the pictures and the videos so that our marketing is the best. Absolutely. Now we're going to jump right into some of our topics for tonight because we have really run out of time the last few times we've been on the air. Tell me a little bit about what's going on in the current market. I mean, I know that more homes now are being rented than they are being sold. Let's talk about right, that. Right, that's true. Well, the current market is basically, according to the National Association of Realtors, more than one-third of existing home sales, or about 1.8 million units in 2010, wow. were either short sales or foreclosures. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of homeowners that are losing their homes. And guess what they're having to do? They're having to rent. Right. So what's happening in the market mm -hmm. is more homes are being rented. And in our area, there's more homes being rented than sold, which is basically a trend that has been going on since about 2009. Um, whereas previously, there were always more homes sold in a month than rented on our MLS. And then right now, it, it's kind of reversed itself. And we do have a... Um, we you know, a graphic, a graphic about that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my daughter Nicole's been going through the data and she has compiled this stuff from the MLS. It's not really available anywhere else except for from us because she's worked really hard to get that data and, and do you the have, statistics. You've got a lot of good data right on your website. And we it's, do. it's very easily accessible. So if you're watching from home, go to the website uh, when the show's over mm -hmm. and you can certainly get this information. Now we're looking at this number of homes rented from 2007 to 2010. That's not quite the graphic we were looking for just yet, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Tell me what the trends have been. Well, the trends have been that there's a lot more homes rented in 2009 and 2010 mm -hmm. than there were back in 2007 and 2008, almost twice, I mean, in some months, almost twice as many. Right. So, and of course, there is also a 
um, seasonal thing rental. with rentals sure. where during the summer we rent more homes than we do during the winter. Um, another thing about the rentals that we are finding, and this is this is national information, rental rates are expected to increase up to 25% wow. by the end of 2012. Um, we have seen an increase in our rates, especially in the three and four bedroom homes, the nicer homes, um, and in certain areas of Pensacola, we consider on the east side of Pensacola, northeast Pensacola, out near UWF, right. um, Gulf Breeze, Pace, areas, right. some of those prime areas, East Hill, Cordova Park, those areas, um, we have a high demand. Also, looking over into other areas of northwest Florida, the Air Force has is bringing a lot of people in right now into the Crestview, Fort Walton area. So um, we are hoping to expand over into that area more. So we do have a few rentals available over there. Whenever we get one, it's gone. It's gone, right. And also, um, so we're looking to expand into the Navarre, Crestview, and Fort Walton more so than we have in the past because they have a high demand over there. Well, I tell you what, you mentioned to me before we turn the cameras on uh, tonight that you really need some more inventory of those three and four bedroom homes. We really do. When we mm -hmm. get one, we get it rented right away. We put it on the internet and people are out there looking and we've got um, you know some really good marketing and we are able to get those things rented very quickly. So if you're out there and you have a home that you're looking to rent definitely definitely pick up the phone and call Pam Keen or Nicole St. Aubin uh, her daughter or any of the realtors there uh, Realty Masters because they have over 600 rentals that they manage and they're not new to this. They take care of the repairs, right? Yes. You take care of all of those numbers for them and it becomes a very easy process. So definitely give them a call. Now we only have a, a couple of minutes before we have to take a break. Do we have that graphic where we have the number of homes sold versus the number of homes rented? I wanna show that one more time. We had a little spike here. Um, I'm looking at the graphic here back in May of 2010 where you had uh, a lot of homes purchased. What was that yes. from? That was when they were offering the $8,000 home buyer <laughs> credit. You see it was way down and right. then for a little while it went up and then leveled back off. And what you see is in 2007, you know, there were still a lot of homes being sold and there weren't as many rentals. But if you watch that line, the rental line has been going up steadily. And um, of course, you know, it is also a little bit seasonal too, but right now, we really are, um, we really have a shortage of inventory on the three and four bedroom homes. So definitely call the number at the bottom of your screen if you have a home to rent. Now, you also have folks who call you nonstop to find these rental, rental, yes, homes, rental properties. So yes, we do. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about that home sitting for very, uh, very, very long at all. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about some multifamily uh, complexes, quads, and multifamily homes, and you're going to tell me a little bit more about that. Great. All right, stay with us. Vacant homes cost money. It's a tough market. If you can't sell your home, consider renting it. Realty Masters professionally manages over 400 rental properties and 25 homeowners associations. We are the first company in town to partner with the local military housing office. Our professional staff has complete knowledge of today's market. Our attention to detail and marketing strategy can get your property sold or leased. Whether your family is buying, selling, renting, or need management services, call 473-3980. This a little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This a little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This a little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine That's the best place they're going to eat on this street. To me, it's the favorite place to eat downtown Pensacola. You can expect great things. Traditional New Orleans style food with sauteed crab claws, which is by far my favorite. Live entertainment's also great. They have a variety of different bands and they're really good. I loved it here because this is the best food. Come and see us at Ragtime. It's a great place for entertainment, enjoyment, good friends, good family, good atmosphere. Hi, my name's Rennie West with Executive Landscaping. Lab has helped us increase our business because being able to take people out to jobs via the show and show them the different things we can do. People would call us up, hey, I saw this on your show. I need the same thing done at my yard. 
So it enabled us to expose different areas of our business to people and thus dramatically increase the sales of those products. Okay, and welcome back. I'm with Pam King of Keen of Realty Masters. Sorry about that, Pam. Of Realty Masters of Florida. And we have been talking over the past several shows about rental properties and how there are more and more rental properties out there and there's a greater uh, market for uh, marketing those realty uh, rental properties. Now, what are we looking at when you are looking for a desirable property so that you can rent it out? Tell me some of the things you need to have. Well, the home needs to be in good condition. Mm -hmm. And if there's a lot more people that are looking for quality rentals and it has become worthwhile to do a little bit of upgrading. It's worth the cost of putting in new appliances or new light fixtures that are not that expensive. You can, you know, you make it look good and it will rent quicker and, and you're not losing any days on the market sitting there while they're looking at other properties that, that look better. So sure. especially if you have a property that's say like the multifamily, mm -hmm. the, the fourplexes, they're two bedrooms, one bath, they all kind of look the same. But if right. you go in and put new countertops and put some new light fixtures and spiff it up a little bit, it will rent right away. So many people out there are renting these things that were built in the 80s and they still sure. have the butcher block countertops and all the light fixtures that were originally put in. And for very inexpensive, you can really replace countertops in an apartment, those sure. kind of things. It's not that much money. And once, you, once you've once you had a unit or a, qu uh, a multiplex sit empty for one month, you could have already paid exactly. for the, the granite exactly. countertops or some of those upgrades. Or even just for mica countertops, but sure. just to get new ones. You know, they've, you know, they've seen their days, they've got, <laughs> right. you know, like, pot marks in them and, the, yeah. and that sort of thing. And you know, I think more and more financial advisors, Pam, are telling folks, you know, they used to tell you, you gotta buy, you gotta buy, it's the best investment. But now they're saying it's okay to rent. I think more and more people are renting right now and in, in, in different phases of their lives than they ever have before. That is true. You know, because they don't have the, the expense. Now on the flip side of that coin, and we're gonna uh, jump right into this in just a moment, is it's a great time if you have money to invest in the market to yes. buy rentals. Yes, and we talked about that last time. We mm -hmm. talked about self-directed IRAs and using those, the money from there to invest in properties. And, and about the kinds of rates of returns that you can get. And even on a single family home, you can get nine or 10% rate. On the multifamily, you can easily get 12 to 14% um, rate of return on your investment. And that's if you pay cash for the property. If you finance it, mm -hmm. your rates of return are actually you know, similar, but you're putting more less money into it if you if you get a mortgage. Oh, certainly. Well, you know, we had some guests last time. If you were if you were watching our show last uh, about two or three weeks ago, we had Charlene and her husband on the show, and they really had some impressive numbers. And they have purchased how many units uh, um, through you? I mean, they, it's an incredible uh, number. I think it's around sixteen. Sixteen. And and you know what she said? She said, "We well, you know we're never going to be able to recover some of the things we lost in the markets as they've you know when they crashed a while back. This has been the single best thing we." we've done to catch back up with our retirement so that we can actually retire when mm -hmm. it's time to retire. So if you're in that age and you're thinking, gosh, I don't really know what to do, and you have some money in your IRA sitting there, we're going to be talking a little bit more about that later in the show, but uh, let's start thinking about that. Now, investment opportunities, multi versus single family. Tell me the difference. Okay. Um single family homes, you're not going to get as good of a cash flow. But the advantages include that you have lower acquisition costs, lower operating expenses, and less routine maintenance required. Because tenants, mm -hmm. if you go with a house that rents for say $1,000, $1,200 a month, you're gonna get a little bit better quality tenants. They're gonna fix a few things themselves. Sure. Maybe they'll go in and plant some flowers and make the yard look nice, take a little better care of the property so you have less maintenance there. When they move out, they tend to leave the property in better condition. Mm -hmm. Lower end units, like say a two bedroom, one bath, duplex or quadplex. There's not really a lot of amenities. You're you're attracting maybe possibly HUD tenants or, you know, first time renters, people that sure. don't make a lot of money. They are living from paycheck to paycheck. You know, you you might have late rent payers. Mm -hmm. um, you might have a little bit more maintenance. They call about. You know, maybe they've lived in an apartment complex where right. they're used to having a maintenance man on site all the time and the toilet flapper needs to be replaced, they're calling, you know. Exactly. So we try to put the maintenance as much as possible onto the tenants as their responsibility, but, you know, but there are, there's only, you know, so much that, so you, much can that do, you can do. And if they're calling, we have to take care of their, 
their issues. Sure. So you have a little bit higher maintenance on those lower end properties. So, and those are things to know that if you're looking at investment properties to buy, you might want to have some single family ha residences and multifamily and, and a mixture. What, that's what Glenn two. and Charlene have chosen to do is a mixture of the two. A mixture of the two. Okay, now we have another graphic here, and I think we showed this one earlier, the average sales price of the multifamily in the Pensacola area. We didn't area. show that. Okay, so let's talk about that. Um, we're talking about the average sales prices of multifamilies units in, in the Pensacola area. This is specific to our area. Now, yes. explain this one to me. Well, um, I think we have a graphic here to show. We have um, data back to That's about it. 2001 mm -hmm. that, again, my daughter has compiled from the MLS um, of duplexes and quads. Now, there's other types of multifamily, but we just kind of focused on those because those are the most popular for first-time investors. Sure. You can get into them. They're not, I mean, you're not buying a 100-unit apartment complex here. You're just buying, <laughs> you right. know, two units or four units. And in basically back in 2000, the, the duplexes and quads are selling for less than they were in 2001. In 2001, the average sales price of a quad, which is four units, was 150, and a duplex was about 75. In 2011,